we're going to start in three, two, one. Welcome to the Real Results Podcast. In today's episode, we are going to be discussing, I'm going to be discussing why I do not believe in restrictive dieting. So everybody here has done some type of restrictive dieting in the past. Like you've either cut out all carbs, you've either completely fasted. Um, If you've ever tried to lose fat or weight, like you've probably tried some type of restrictive diet, right? Um, You might have even done something along the lines of like only having two fruits in one shake a day or two fruits in one protein shake a day or not eating certain types of foods or maybe even starving yourself. And although this works... All right, this 100% works. If you starve yourself, it'll work. Although it works, it's not sustainable, okay? You know this, I know this, everybody knows this. You will lose weight initially, okay? You'll lose lots of weight initially. You're going to lose lots of weight at first. And then once you're done, you're going to slowly start to gain that weight back, okay? It's going to slowly start inching up. That weight is going to slowly start creeping in back and forth or back into your into your daily life all right <clears throat> and then what ends up happening is you start to think that nothing works for you okay or you start to think that like getting in shape is really hard or it's too hard because what you tried was hard what you tried was a very unsustainable approach i've been there i've done the uh, no carbs. I've done the no carbs past six. I've done the eating only certain food groups. I've done eating every two hours and all of that stuff like works. Okay. Not for any magic formula or anything, but all of it eventually just put me in a calorie deficit. That's what it was, you know, years later when I found, when I finally understood this, but all of that stuff worked, right? Just like not eating carbs, not eating past six. Um, only eating certain foods uh, because all of that stuff put me in a a very big calorie deficit, Um, intermittent, sorry, like uh, training on an empty stomach, uh, training fasted, doing uh, an hour of cardio fasted. I've tried all of that stuff and all of uh, of it worked, but it was never sustainable. And I would always gain the weight back. Okay. If you're watching live or if you're listening live and you can agree or you have been here, just like silently nod your head or say yes in the comments. Because you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. You've been there. You've tried this extreme diet. You've lost lots of weight. And then you end up just gaining it wet, uh, gaining it back. All right? And then, like I said, you start to think that nothing works for you. Okay? You start to think that getting in shape is way too hard. It's way too difficult. Something is wrong with your metabolism. Th- something is wrong with your body. It's your thyroid. It's hormones it's testosterone it's all these different things you start to blame it on all these different things but in actuality like getting getting in shape and losing the weight wasn't hard you just tried a hard approach you tried a approach that was not sustainable okay and that's why like here at real results fitness we don't just focus on weight loss with our clients but we focus more so on fat loss okay so what's the difference between weight loss and fat loss Fat loss is not just seeing the scale move down because you will see that scale move down when you when you lose weight, okay? When you lose fat, I'm sorry. Uh, but it's more so feeling the difference in your clothes, seeing the difference in your body composition, the way your shirts hug you, the way your dress hugs you, the way your pants hug you, the, your energy levels. Like all of this is a direct correlation with fat loss. Weight loss is just seeing that number on the scale move down and And if you simply want that and you're simply here for that, then you're watching the wrong channel, okay? Or you're listening to the wrong channel because, like, here we focus on fat loss. We focus on on sustainable fat loss, okay? So, again, you not only see the scale drop, okay, but you feel the difference in your body composition. Uh, You feel the difference in your clothes. And most importantly, you learn how to lose fat forever, okay? At Real Results Fitness here, like, I don't starve my clients. In fact, we do the exact opposite. Most of my clients, some of them are here live watching right now, and they can attest to this. Um, they will sometimes say, like, fatty, it's it's too much food. Because, guys, the goal is to get my clients eating as much as possible while losing as much weight as possible safely. Okay? 
Again, I'm going to repeat that. The goal is to get my clients to lose as much weight as possible while eating as much possible. And that way, it's easier to lose fat. Because if you're starving yourself and you peak or you plateau, it's hard to move from there, okay? It's hard to move when you plateau very early. Okay? If this is making sense, just say makes sense right now. Makes sense, okay? Just say makes sense in the comments. As opposed to what most people do. What most people do is they starve themselves from the very beginning. If that's been you, just say I have in the comments. Most people, they starve themselves from the very beginning. And you get some immediate results, right? You get results like very, very fast. And then you hit a plateau. And then what happens when you hit that plateau? So think about this. You're already starving yourself. If you're already starving yourself, and now you're doing tons of cardio, and then you hit a plateau. You have to move one way or another. You have to eat a lot less, okay? Or you have to do more cardio. And then you're going all over the place. So you're jumping up and down, right? So it's very, very hard to make this a sustainable approach when you are starving yourself and doing lots of cardio or doing like something very intense, like a boot camp or, or something, something of this, um, uh, of this nature. And you're just like pulling your, what's that, what's that saying? You're pulling the string from both ends and you're, you're drawing, you're drawing it very thin. Okay. This is not to mention this is not to mention if you have like a normal life, right? If you have a family to take care of, if you have kids, if you have a significant other, if you have friends, if you want any type of a social life, all right? And you're already starving yourself. And then on top of that, you're not only starving yourself, you're doing lots of cardio. And then you hit this plateau and then you continue pulling from both ends. And then what ends up happening is you keep, uh, you end up burning out. And then you tell yourself that like, yeah, I just can't do this. There's no way I can't, I can't make this a part of my lifestyle. It's like, well, of course you can't. You didn't go with a sustainable approach. Okay. So I hear this from a lot of people is that like, I know what it, and <laughs> a lot of you that are watching right now or on replay or, or listening on replay are probably going to uh, be guilty of this, but like I've heard this, for, I hear this from people all day. Like I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. But like what you have been doing is starving yourself. And what you have been doing is restricting yourself so much that, yeah, maybe you do know what you need to do. You know that you need to starve yourself to lose weight, but there's better ways of doing it. Just because it works doesn't mean that it's right. All right. Just because it works doesn't mean it's right. If the if you can do better, then do better. There's better ways of doing this. Uh, you don't have to starve yourself completely. You don't have to j uh, join a boot camp. You don't have to join a hit class. You don't have to join like an orange theory. You don't have to burn yourself out. You don't have to walk out of the gym dripping sweat just to lose like a few pounds on the scale. You're not training for a fucking Ironman or a mer or like. Uh, triathlon you're training just to like lose a few pounds on the scale that's all it is okay <clears throat> and this you know this balance this thing that you've been doing is probably why you're ne why you're never able to lose weight and keep it off forever so if you do want to like lose weight and lose fat forever without restrictive dieting and make fitness part of your lifestyle you have to you have to slowly ease into it all right. That's not the sexy answer and it's not the fun answer, but it's the answer that's sustainable. It's the answer that six months from now, you're not going to look back and be like, man, I wish I would have just started slow and eased into it. Well, if you had eased into it from the very beginning, you would instead of being like going backwards and starting over on your fitness journey, you would be much further along than where you're at now. And if you're watching and if you're watching now and you're listening now and you've done this before, I'm here to tell you that this like lose, lose weight fast, like immediately, like 20 pounds in a month. If you do that, you're going to always bounce back. You're going to always bounce back and it's going to be tougher every single time because you built bad habits every single time that you've done that. Okay. So ease into the process. You can lose half a pound to like one and a half pounds a week. 
And that is more than enough. And if you do that over the months, you, let's just say you lose just half a pound a week. Okay, half a pound a week is two pounds a month. If you lose two pounds a month for six months, that's 12 pounds that you've lost. All right, this is on like the lower end. If you've lost six pounds in 12 months, that's much better than if you're to lose 20 pounds in two months, and sorry, 20 pounds in one month, gain 15 pounds back the next month, all right, gain 10 pounds back the on month three, and then kind of go back and forth. And then just like, and then now you're like five to 10 pounds heavier than when you started a few months ago, and you've built up all these bad eating habits. Take your time when it comes to fitness. Take your time when it comes to fat loss. Okay? Take your time when it comes to fat loss. Now, that's not to say that you can't push it in certain times and whatnot, but take your time when it comes to fat loss. Fast fat loss is like fast money. Easy come, easy go. All right? So ease into your fitness journey. Take your time with it. And I promise you guys, in the long run, you're going to thank me and you're going to thank yourself. All right? That's it for today's podcast. Hope you guys got a ton of value. And that's all. If you guys are watching on replay, hashtag replay. Hope you guys got a ton of value. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comments right now. And uh, 